Yo yo, we are back in After Effects And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create the slow-mo collage effect That I like to call, it looks really sick With like the slow-mos going on So as you can see in my timeline, you can see I have like these three clips Which I'm gonna make the effect on There are three clips and they're all like slow-mo already Like you can see they are all time ram I did it through a plugin called Twixter If you wanna make slow-mos, I've already made a video on this so I'll I'll link it in the description so you can check it out but anyways i'm gonna enable my first clip for now and rotoscope my subject out so let's just take my roto brush tool and just start rotoscoping around him so if you really don't know how to rotoscope it's really simple you just gotta like brush over your subject and it should like make like a rough selection and if you make any mistake you can just hit alt in your keyboard and just like erase that so it's really simple let me just do this real quick and after the rotoscope your clip should look something like this it is like selected out that's exactly what we want so after your one footage is done you can just like mess around with like feathers and the shift days and hide this layer and turn on your another layer you want the effect on so i'm gonna rotoscope this out as well and another one and see you guys so now as you can see i rotoscoped out all of my clips let me just show you you can see this one this one as well so for the first clip i actually think i'm gonna duplicate this and for the duplication get the rotoscope from it and now you can just name it bz so we know this is the background of it this would be our main background and for the another two we're not gonna need a background so don't worry about that so i'm gonna put it at the bottom and enable both of these clips now so all of our clips will be shown so now after that you can put a clip at the side i'm gonna put one over here and another one over right over here that looks pretty cool i think i'm gonna scale this one the main one as well with the background so it goes like that yeah that looks cool for sure and you can also like play around with the positioning so some clip will be front of him i'm gonna put this front of him and another one in the back so it goes like that so that looks cool but the lighting is not matching like perfectly right now as you can see the highlights of this footage is like a bit dim and the highlights of this footage is like really like bright and also this footage as well it's really bright you can see so to fix that i'm gonna add a quick lumetri color onto my second clip firstly so a lumetri color lumetri color and you can just see your main clip and try to match the lighting of it like i can go over to highlights and bring it down a bit and go over to temperature and bring it slightly like about that also a bit of exposure yeah that looks really cool like i can lower down the highlights more now you can clearly see that the highlights are really dim now that's exactly what we want so i'm gonna copy this lumetri color onto our another clip as well maybe it's too dim for this one so let's just bring it up slightly yes sir that looks perfect now and now we're gonna add a drop shadow to make it like 3d so firstly i'm gonna select my second clip and add a drop shadow on it and bring up the distance and bring up the softness as well so it adds a shadow behind him which looks really cool like it really really sells the effect more i feel like so i'm gonna copy this drop shadow and put it here put it here as well i think i'm gonna scale this one as well and select my background and my footage and reposition it slightly like something like that yeah now it looks perfect to me so now we're gonna add some grungy effects to spice this up so firstly let's just so firstly let's just close all of these settings and add like an adjustment layer into here and firstly to change the color i'm gonna add a tritone also if you wanna like add these type of grungy looks and effect to your footage i have a pack made for it it's called grunge fx it's really dope comes with 60 plus assist for you to add like those grungy effects but anyways i'm gonna go to tritone and set the highlights to something like blue a bit like blue is let's just move it to green 
yeah a bit grayness and for the mid tones i'm gonna lower it down so it's like pretty much black also on it you can add some color a little bit of like greenish tone on it would look cool and the next effect i'm gonna add a posterize as posterize sapphire posterize on it mess with the amount of it maybe i'm gonna smooth the edges a bit like something like this would look cool yeah that looks hard also on this our uh, sapphire flicker will look really hard sapphire flicker bring you up the amount of it and you can lower down the like the frequency of it after that our noise bring it up and we're gonna put it before the posterize and you can like play with the amount of it as you like to then we're gonna add a sapphire grain for the grain you're gonna add like add grain if you don't have sapphire grain but i love sapphire grain. it's really dope so so i'm gonna lower down the color amplitude to zero and bring up the black and white amplitude and lower down the frequency of it so as you can see it looks really clean like the green is super dope and to make some distortion with this you can add like a distort chroma onto here and you can bring up the size to something like 500 to 600 and for the first frame set the value to 1.7 and hit the stopwatch in there go over a few frames and you can just lower the value to 1.0 or something like that so it's really low and you can just easy use those keyframes pull up to the graph and make a simple fast graph like this now you can see with the distort chroma it looks so cool like i really like this effect you can go in more and add like different stuff on it like it looks really cool also you can add like a glow if you want and lower down the threshold of it and lower down the amount as well see a simple exposure at the beginning should look really cool like yeah the flash looks really cool also you can like play around with the brighter and color if you like you can like set it to different color like uh and also like you can play around with the mid tones and stuff so it's like completely up to you this looks really cool as well damn that's hard bro so you can like make like different version of this effect so anyways my final effect looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this you can also follow me on instagram if you want i keep dropping a lot of sauce in there so yeah see you in the next video peace